Hey everybody, my name is Kids Coding and welcome back to another video on the channel. And today we're going to pretty much be learning about HSL values. This is the final thing we need to learn about CSS colors. If you haven't checked out the other three colors, they're um, HAX values, RGB values, and simply by the color name. So if you don't know already, HSL, uh, HSL stands for hue, saturation, and lightness. That is HSL. It stands for hue, saturation, lightness. Keep in mind that there are three values associated with it. So um, it would be like 0, 0%, zero 0%, percent, zero, percent, 0, 0 percent. Right here, this number represents the first number, which first word, first letter, which is hue. The second one represents saturation, which is S, and the third one represents lightness, which is L. Just keep that in mind as we continue to do this video. That is HSL, Hue, Saturation, Lightness. So Hue is a degree on the color wheel. I think many times you've seen it in a color wheel. Whenever you're like selecting text color or something, there's a color wheel. But yep, it's the color wheel goes from 0 to 360. 0 is red, 120 is green, the 240 is blue. Saturation is simply a percentage value. It goes from 0 to 100. 0% 0 means a shade of gray. You cannot see any of the color. 100% is the full color. Lightness is also a percentage. 0 is black. 50% is in between. And 100% is completely white when you can see completely. And yeah, 0% is no light, which is black. 50% is in between. And 100% is full light, which is white. So let's get started with saturation. Saturation is what is the intensity of the color. So 100% is pure, pure, color, pure color, no shades of gray. 50% is in between. 0% um, is completely gray and you can no longer see the color. So let's say if I did something like H1 style background color HSL um, 0, 100%, 50%. And then let's put our HTML aside. Save that, reload it. And I just see it gave the color red. So, um, 100% is once again, simply the pure color. As you keep decreasing the percentage, it starts to get darker and darker. So yeah, you see the red got darker. It just gets darker and darker until you get to the point where you go to 0%. And then that is just, what did I do? Where you cannot see the color at all. So as you keep decreasing the percentage, the color starts to get darker and darker until you get to 0% where you can't see the color at all. And then 50% um, is in between. So yeah, that is pretty much saturation. Um, there's two things you should keep in mind. The first thing is that we're only changing the second number because according to HSL, S is the second letter so an S stands for saturation. So we're only changing the second one. Only We're only changing this one. The other ones are associated with other things which I'll talk about later. But we're only changing the second one. Another thing to keep in mind is that I'm using the CSS shorthand property for the colors. Um, this is only what you wanna do if you wanna make only one change. If you wanna make more than one change, then um, you're going to use the selector property which I will mention later so that was it with saturation um you only change the second number it goes from zero to 100 percent 100 percent is pure color 50 percent in between zero percent you can't see it at all which makes it completely gray as you keep lowering the percentage the color just gets darker and darker until you get to zero percent which makes it gray i hope you understood that but anyway next we got something called the lightness which is the third letter in hsl um, the lightness of a color can be described as how much light you want to give to the color, where 0% simply means no light, which is black, 50% means 50% light, so it's like, um, it's in between, 
and then 100% is the full lightness which is white. 0% once again is no lightness which is black. So let's say I did something like, um, let's say I made the 0% and I made this 0%. What happens is that it will just simply become black. And because we made it 0%, we made our lightness 0%, which is no light at all. As you see, we can't see the text at all, like we can't see the text. If that is like a big issue, um, then we can just change it. Because I know even me, myself, I have like a really big issue with not seeing the text. So we can just simply change that by using the selector property, which I covered in CSS selectors. So let's make the background color our HSL value. Um, what should it be? Zero, zero percent, zero percent, and then um, and then let's make our text color um, white. I think that's just zero, hundred percent, zero percent, hundred percent. And then let's do that. And then let's do H1. Okay, let's close it from there and then let's reload. Yeah, let me just say, let me just, or it could be because I didn't have HSL. Yeah. So I just see if we pretty much made it white. I did the HSL value of white, which is um zero 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 percent hundred percent. You can also just say it white. You can also just say that. It's the same thing. I just wanted to test it out with the HSL value. So that is just how we change the text color in case you were bothered by it. I mean I was bothered by it, so I just bothered to change it. But yeah, bother count three times. Anyway, so that was pretty much it for the lightness. Um, if I increase a percentage, like if I made it 40%, let me get rid of this. So if I made it 40%, then I would make it lighter. And then um, if I make it 20%, and it would just get Oh, if I made it 60%, then it would just it would just keep getting lighter. So as you keep increasing the percentage up, it starts getting lighter and lighter until you get to 100%, which is complete light, which makes it white. So that's pretty much what lightness is. It's on a scale of zero to 100. It's in a percent. Zero percent is no light at all, which is black. 100% is just complete light, and it's white. So as you keep increasing the percentage, the color starts getting lighter and lighter until you get to 100%, which makes it completely white. So it's kind of the opposite of how it goes for saturation. Because for saturation, if you decrease the percentage, um, it, it gets darker and darker. But for um, lightness, if you increase the percentage, it gets lighter and lighter. I guess that's how you can say it. Lastly, we have something called HSL A values. The extra A means something different. It means something called alpha. Um, it's a lot similar to my RGB video. So if you've seen that, then you probably already know what I'm about to say because it's the same thing as that video. If you haven't, then you can click on the top right hand corner and scroll to about the end to check on that. Or you can just watch it now because I will cover the same thing as I covered there. So the A stands for alpha, and the alpha determines the transparency. It's on a scale of zero to one. One gives it its full color, and zero just simply, um, it makes it white. Yeah, it makes it white. And you, and you can, it's completely transparent. You can't see the color at all, making it white. So let's say I did this and I made it one. Um, I'm going to make this 100, and I'm, gonna, I'm just going to make the color tomato. Four, and let me make this nine 
And then you see I made the color tomato. So one simply made it, um, it showed the full color, which is what one does. If I made it something like 0 0.6, then um, it would get more transparent. So as you keep decreasing it, it gets more transparent until you get to zero, which doesn't give any color and it's white. So yeah, that is pretty much it with HSLA values. Um, it's on a scale of zero to one, so you can even include decimals and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, um, if I did zero, like I said, it just makes it white, um, 0.4 is just tomato with a bit of a transparency and then one gives it its full color which is simply just the color itself so that is pretty much it with this lesson um if you had any doubts then you can go to my website at kidscoding.com i will upload lessons there on the videos that i do here on youtube um and yeah follow my instagram at kids coding club Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time.